It's still, um, Thursday, February 11th. Gosh, it just feels so heavy, you know. I've just been thinking about the vision today and reflecting on the book. I don't think I mentioned that in, this book was written in 1987 or published. And it just, you know, like, for someone to just look and live back in 1987 and see how hard it was to live here in this country. of my nieces and my nephews on the fridge and I was having dinner and just eating and watching and just staring at them and just thinking you know of their habits and how they do life and just reminiscing how much fun it was to like hang out with them you know some are older graduated college and thinking about grad school and I got to see her recently and just how much they've grown you know I'm just thinking about the world that they're embarking in I'm just hoping Praying that they, you know, that they get it right, that they not get lost with um, the distractions of life. That was another thing that this book, this today, the chapter was talking about was just when we meditate to not do it alone and talk about kids. And how he opens up the center for visitors and, you know, they, they love when the kids come and they take really good care of the kids. And that once they heard a kiddo say, like, why are my parents happy here? <laughs> and then I started thinking about... That Chiron thing, person or planet or whatever, I haven't looked into it. But just reflecting on what I heard in that audio book and just um, how much of that resonated. And I'm like, that's exactly like I already knew that. And then just tripping myself out, like, well, how, how would I know that? How would I have known that? when I had never heard of Chiron before. <laughs> I just felt overwhelmed. <laughs> a little scared, a little scared, but I'm sitting with it, I'm sitting with it. video for t 
jail thinking about that soldier that got covered and severed in half. There were three soldiers. There were three soldiers and one of them was severed in half. And then for a brief moment I thought, where's Chris from Middle Pond? He, this month he didn't these this week he hasn't been doing the dailies. And then thinking to myself, well he's human too, right? He mentioned that he was taking some time off from posting. He was doing things differently this month because of the Mercury retrograde. And just thinking, well, I have a connection to God. And just so I started thinking about what I saw again. And the lava. And the fact that it's earth on fire. Earth element. Earth element. Right? Earth. What are the earth signs? It's Capricorn. Taurus is Earth. T Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo. That's Earth. <laughs> Aries. Aries? No. Sagittarius. Leo. The other fire sign. But it, it's um like the Earth, like the fire needs to warm up the Earth. In order for it to, to break apart, because it's so rigid, you know, like it's like it's so rigid. Like if you think about a volcano erupting, right? That's like the tower moment. It erupts and it shoots out lava. Lava comes out. The fire action. Mold to break the salt, the silk, the rigidity of the earth, right? Because earth, earth signs are very grounded, and the fire is causing action. And then when water comes in, it cools it. It cools it. It.
My name is Yubi, and in case you haven't figured it out, this footage is capturing my experience as I learn to navigate my personal spiritual awakening. Um, I am learning that this experience is unique to each one of us. Um, in whatever way we believe we are embracing living our truth, this just happens to be my journey. Um, and despite me having a graduate degree and a license in clinical social work, this by no means is intended to replace any type of mental health advice. This is just me on a personal level, uh, documenting my experience, shedding light on the truth that I am learning and discovering for myself, um, and really inviting you along for the ride. Um, if by some <laughs> magical chance you find this content to be helpful in any way, shape, or form, please click the like button, you know, share the message, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I have an Instagram account, a personal one, and one specifically for this channel that you're more than welcome to check out. Um, I'm an open book. Um, I have also created t-shirt um, t-shirt designs. I'm wearing my favorite one right now, which is the North Node um, uh, design, um, but I have that and other things uh, that you can look at. Um, inspired by this process and journey um, and I have the link in the description box as well as in the about section of my YouTube um, channel. So you're more than welcome to check those items out. Um, any type of support is you know great. <laughs> um, again if, if you find this content really helpful or meaningful sometimes when we um, take that step and, and, and be vulnerable you know with with showing what's inside our hearts and what's really our truth we realize that we're much more connected um than than what we thought we were and so um i hope that um as i'm living this experience it, and that you find some type of truth for yourself or or find some type of um ability to heal in some way just by relating you know just just by knowing that you're not alone that really has been my goal with with this process, um, not just um, being able to connect with others, but really for my own healing. Um, it's definitely been a therapeutic experience and a very creative one for, for myself. So I thank you and um, I wish you all the best and you know, we'll see what else um, comes next for me.